Search teams in South Carolina have recovered critical pieces of that Chinese spy balloon that was shot down, including its sensitive spying technology. Now Beijing is claiming the U.S. is flying high-altitude surveillance balloons over their territory. Our DC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following in the whole thing. Ben. Nicole Louie, China claims the U.S. has flown at least 10 surveillance spy balloons over their territory, but the White House says that is just not true, as lawmakers want the Biden administration to be more transparent and share what they know about these latest three objects. The Biden administration briefed lawmakers Tuesday on classified material regarding the unidentified objects shot down by the U.S. over Alaska, Canada, and Lake Huron, Michigan. It had comes after a Chinese spy balloon put North American security forces on high alert. We know what the spy balloon was from China, so put that one aside. The other three instances, as they are described, both publicly and in there, are not new. Florida Senator Marco Rubio is a member of the Senate Intel Committee and said 95 percent of what was discussed in that room today can be made public without compromising the security of this country. Turns out the latest three objects had no communication signals, no maneuvering or propulsion capabilities. Uh, good afternoon everyone. As the Defense Department raised concerns about the altitude and path of the objects. The most important thing for the American military is to protect the American people. They made it clear that there is no harm to uh, physical harm to Americans on the ground. No one has to worry about that. His remarks come as President Biden <laughs> delivered the keynote address of the National Association of Counties as the White House faces growing questions on their response to the objects. So there is, again, a uh, interagency team that's going to look at this process, look how we track, uh, look how we uh, decide to take action uh, and see if there's anything else that needs to be done. And Jean-Pierre says we expect those updated protocols by the end of the week. In the meantime, the U.S. has actually enhanced their radar to better detect these objects. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben,